Praise be to Jesus. Well, hello everyone. It's uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, I came across a news feed uh, that's um, following what the Pope's doing. So I'm going to read some of this to you. Uh, all, these are all local times when I mention the time. So he got there at 1035. So at one o'clock. Uh, Pope Francis said he shares the outrage over the failures of church authorities to punish the repugnant crimes of priests who raped and molested children, seeking to respond to a global Catholic outcry over the abuse scandal at the start of his visit to Ireland. In a speech to Irish government authorities on Saturday, Francis cited measures taken by his predecessor, Pope Benedict XVI, to respond to the clergy abuse crisis, but he provided no new indications that he would take forceful action to hold bishops accountable for protecting children or to sanction them when they fall short. So nothing new there. You know, I mean, it's just what you would expect him to say. <clears throat> uh, 1.50 p.m. Ireland's Prime Minister has urged Pope Francis to use his office and influence to ensure clergy sex abuse victims worldwide receive justice and truth and healing. Um... Irish Prime Minister Leo uh, Vardakar addressed the Pope on Saturday as Francis began the first papal visit to Ireland in nearly four decades. Vardakar acknowledged the Catholic Church has provided generations of Catholics with education and health care when the Irish government did not. But he said church and state both have a, had a history of sorrow and shame citing the Magdalene laundries where women were confined and forced to work. The homes, you know, da, 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 let's see. Um, in appealing to the Pope, Vatikar cited a recent grand jury report from the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. He cited Francis's own call for zero tolerance. All right, so, you know, really nothing there either. Okay, 4.05 p.m. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. Uh, not the content, just, you know, you know telling you like, like what time what time something was said or whatever. 4.05 p.m. Survivors of priestly sex abuse and their supporters are voicing grave disappointment in Pope Francis's opening speech in Ireland. <laughs> oh, gee, what a surprise, huh? saying it was a staggering effort at deflection that ignored the Vatican's own role in fueling a culture of cover-up for predator priests. Colm O'Gorman, who is leading a solidarity rally Sunday in Dublin for abuse victims, said Francis's remarks about the shame felt by Catholics were an insult to faithful Catholics who have no reason to feel shame because of the crimes of the Vatican and the institutional church. Anne Barrett Doyle, co-founder of the online resource Bishop Accountability, said Francis gave a little comfort to heartsick victims since he provided no details on how he would end the problem since he alone can sanction complicit bishops. A small group of protesters demonstrated against the Pope's vi visit outside Dublin Castle with one banner reading, Pedophile Supporters Go Home. Let's see here. Um, the last one here is uh, 5, 10 p.m. The harrowing plight of the Tuam babies the hundreds of Irish children who were buried in a mass grave on the grounds of a Catholic church-run mother and baby home has gotten on the agenda of Pope Francis. Um, I already read this, so um, the, um, there's really nothing going on here because it was a private conversation and the Vatican doesn't 
uh, respond to what's said in private conversations. Um, so if that hasn't been released, that's not going to be released. Um, anyway, and uh, I'll read this to you. An amateur Irish historian, Catholic Cor Cor Corliss, traced the deaths of 796 children at the Tuam Country Galway home to a grave in a sewerage area of the orphans orphanage that the sisters of the French Bon Secours religious order ran to take in children of unwed mothers. Zappone's ministry is to recommend what to do at the site this autumn. Survivors want the graves on earth and the children given a proper burial but another proposal calls for a memorial to be erected. Well, let's see, let me refresh the page and see if there's anything here. Um, no, the last entry is at 510. So um, I'll keep track of this page here and um, you know, maybe we'll, um, maybe we'll see what's going on later. I might post something else about this. Uh, okay, that's it for now. Enjoy your day. Bye.